Bang, it's your boy No Despair back at it again with another how to video. Today, we're gonna go with some run defense and pass defense out the 3 4 odd. A subscriber asked me to go over this formation, so let's jump right into it. First things first, the coach adjustments. Auto flip defense play call off. Auto alignment base. Ball in the air defense is depending on your play style. For me, I want to play the receiver, but you could play ball or be balanced. It really doesn't matter. But for me, I want to play receiver. That's it for the coach adjustments. We're going to hop into the play. The play is saw blitz one out the three, four odd. And we are in the New England pay, uh, playbook. So I'm going to go ahead and press X there. The offensive play that we're going to go against is out the single back, deuce close, and we're going to do stretch, high back stretch. <clears throat> the first thing, the first thing to set up this play is triangle, left stick down, press. The next step is triangle, right stick down, have your secondary play underneath. And to mention this, the the deep, uh, the inside third right here, Devin McCourty is your user. The next step is left on the D pad, right stick up, slant outside. And then the next last step is right on your D-pad, left stick up. That's going to spread your linebackers out. And now you're going to see how this shuts out this, the halfback stretch here. So you're going to say hut, and then you're just going to kind of fill in the whole gaps. Here you go. It shuts, it shuts it down right there. You just got to fill in the hole, have a good user, and you're going to get block sheds as well. This this time they didn't block shed, and, you know, that's kind of dependent on if they're going to block shed or not as well, and that's going to also help in your run defense here. So we're going to do it again. I'm going to show you all again one more time, and then we're going to go into halfback dive. And so first first adjustment is triangle, left stick down, press, triangle, right stick down, underneath, left on the D-pad, right stick up, slant outside, right on the D-pad, left stick up, Spread your linebackers. That's the setup again. And now you're going to see how, again, how it shuts down this stretch. So you're going to go ahead. And you see, now I got block sheds this time. And I ain't really have to do do too much. So you're going to get block sheds. Sometimes you're not going to get block sheds. You, you're still last line of defense. You just got to fill in the gap with you. So that's basically stretch. I'm going to show you against the halfback dive in the same formation. All right, y'all. So. It's actually not a dive. I forgot the play call. The play is halfback wham out the the deuce close single backs do close that the offense like to run. And this is a really popular play call. This is a real nice run if you know how to make it work. So I'm still in the saw blitz one out the three four odd. And this is kind of like how I like to set it up against halfback wham. Now you can run it base. It works real nice base. You can set it up. So I'm gonna show y'all without making no adjustment besides pressing. Your secondary and playing underneath. It works really nicely. You can leave it like this. You don't have to make no adjustments to it. Or you can, and but I'm gonna show you a way that you can do adjustments. It could do it could be even better, right? But if you want, you don't have to make no adjustments to this play. It stops it pretty well. It's real this is a real nice play on it on on its own by itself. So I'm gonna say hut, and you're gonna see me. Just get up in there and blow it up. And you see the D line and blow it up too. You're gonna get me get me get a chance to get up in there. Through that hole, got to get skinny, but the D lineman, this D tackle right here usually blows it up. Nine times out of ten, he going to blow it up. But I'm going to show you my adjustments that I like to do with do to it. Like the same, it's the first two adjustments pretty the same. It's triangle, left stick down, that's press. Triangle, right stick down, underneath. Now the D line adjustment changes for this play. That's left on the D pad, and then what I want to do is I don't want to pinch. I want to slant inside. Right stick down. The next thing is for your linebackers, and this changes as well. Right on the D pad, left stick down. That's pinch my linebackers. And we now, that's basically the setup. We're going to run half back wham again. This time right here, you're going to see me able to shoot the gap right here. So that allows me to be more of a user in that. Shoot the gap right there. It stops the run. So you can either run the base or you can run my adjustments right there. Doesn't really matter if this is a really good uh, play against this play. So I'm going to show you all again my adjustments one more time. Triangle. 
Left stick down, press. Triangle, right stick down underneath. Left on the D-pad. Slant out, uh, slant inside, right stick down, not slant outside. Right stick down, slant inside. Then right on the D-pad, left stick up. No, no, not spray. Don't spray the linebacker. Right stick, you want to pinch, and that's left stick down. My bad, y'all. My bad. I actually made a mistake there. So it's right on D-pad, left stick, pinches, pinch your linebackers. Now you're going to see, again, the setup right here. Say hut, halfback wham, and I'm going to get a chance to blow it up. And see, the D-line still blow it. So 9 out of 10, the D-tackle going to get there first. But then his next is you out that hole. Again, since I messed up the adjustments on my linebacks, I'm going to show y'all again because I kind of messed it up. So I'm going to go. I'm going to show y'all one more time, and then we're going to get into the pass defense. So triangle, left stick down, press. Triangle, right stick down underneath. Left on the D-pad. Right stick down, slant inside. Right on the D-pad. Left stick down, pinch your linebackers. All right, so I got the adjustments how I want it. We're going to run it again, and then we're going to get into the pass defense. I'm going to say hut. Boom, blows it up. Blows up that play. That's a real popular play. So it's a real nice run defense against the stretch and the halfback wham about the single back be close. And I think it, it can work really well against any, really any stretch. I really like this play. All right, but now we're going to get into the pass defense. All right, y'all. The pass defense is cover drop, uh, cover four drop out the uh, three, four eye. The coach adjustments is really the same. You don't have to make nothing else. You don't want nothing. No zone coverage on match. Now, you can mess around with this if uh, your opponent is making adjustments and stuff like that. You can have your zone flats and hook, uh, hooks and flats on uh, zone drops depending on how your uh, your opponent is playing. But for right now, I'm just going to have them on default in this tutorial. So that's pretty much my coach adjustment. Three, four, I cover for a drop. And I'm a, for the offense, we're going to do a more heavy pass, passing formation. And we're going to go into the popular formation tight. PA cross here. It works well against tight. Now you got a couple adjustments you got to make in this play call. And my, uh, in a cover full drop. All right. So we're going to go here. Right now, this is how everything looks. Now you don't want to press. And I'll show you why in a minute why you don't want to press because the tight end right here will get open. If you, if you're playing a good player, he will make a dot here if you press. So I'm not pressing here. You don't have to do nothing with your D-line. You could contain if you would like. Whatever you want to do with your D-line, you can do what you want. With what you want, right? So for me, I for me, I like to contain usually all the time, right? But whatever you like to do. So the setup is here, right? So what you want to do is you want you want to put him, your safety up here, Phillips. You can do this a couple ways. You can go ahead and Get to him and do the quick adjustment, or you could just press triangle X and you put him in an inside third. And then you can want to kind of move him over to the middle right here, basically right here. And for this player right here, now it doesn't really matter. Whatever you want to do is whatever you want to do with him. You can man him up on square, or you can have him on a deep half, and you can have two guys in the same, the same area, but. You can man them up. And I'll show you why that deep half is actually pretty not is actually plays actually plays this route pretty well, the square route. And that's why I, sometimes I like to put them on a deep half, deep uh a deep half, even though it's in the same area as my other I think my outside quarter over here. But I'm gonna show y'all why in a minute. But this setup you can do basically turns into like a cover three with a band coverage in there, right? So I'm going to say hut, and you can basically see everything's pretty much boxed up right here. So we're going to say hut. And a lot of people think you could throw that circle, but the cornerback's over it, and I actually overthrew. But that cornerback, as you can see, is all over it, all over that. And we can get into the instant replay, so I don't have to go over every route. But as you can see, as you can see right here, we're going to go to Devin Smith, uh, Devontae Smith, Devin Smith, Devontae uh, Smith. And as you can see, that route's covered. That route is pretty much boxed up. A lot of people like to throw that. Not in the, the most popular route is this tight end. And putting that safety right there covers 
that route. Now you can't get act. I mean, that's just unfortunate. Like, but it's actually boxed up. A lot of people won't throw it. And they did turn down the agon, so agon don't work as much. But you can't get act that it happens, right? That's just an unfortunate thing of the game. But that does box that up. The next route is this route is the interesting route. It can't get open, and I actually didn't, didn't add my my cursor still over, so he still gets kind of open. So this route can get open, and you can either put him on a man coverage or the deep uh the deep half. And personally, I think the deep half is better. Which is looks weird on on the play arc, but the deep half, in my opinion, plays it better because it can still get open. Because this is a double move against man coverage, it can it can uh it can do the 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 man coverage pretty dirty. But that's pretty much it. And then this uh the drag right here, right? You're gonna see the drag. It basically gets covered by the uh the purple. Pretty much, he kind of leaves it late, but most people are gonna make that decision. And he already, yeah, he already, I already made the decision. That's kind of why he left. But if I still had the ball in my hand, he's still going to cover it. So that's pretty much how it looks like. And I'm going to show y'all one more time. Show my time in the act. And this time I ain't going to have my user over this guy. You're going to see him in man. And then I'm going to show you again with him in a deep half. And we're going to really uh, look, focus in on square, the square route. Every other route is pretty much covered. And we're going to focus on square. So we're going to man him up this time. Let me put myself on the D-line right here. So he moves this time. Man him up there. And then you want to put this safety here on the inside third. Kind of move him inside here. Pretty much the setup right here. That's it. The man version of it. You're going to say hut. Now you're going to focus on, you want to focus on square because this is the route that can get open in, in that if you don't man them up or you don't put them on the deep half, you just leave them in that inside quarter. This route can get open. It's like a whole shot right there. You can get, you can make it. It's a tight throw. Sometimes it end up in the interception. It just kind of depends how your cornerback plays it, right? As, you know, it's kind of dependent on that. But you're going to notice in this route that it can be man coverage. And this time he covered it pretty well, right? He covered it well, but in my opinion, the deep half plays it. It's just empty, right? Is it empty? Is a fifty-fifty if he beats the man coverage or not? It's kind of depends. It's a double move. It can sometimes it don't, depending on what type of player you have. It Devin McCord is actually pretty good, so he's gonna cover it majority of the time. Pretty good in man, but if you got a lesser player here, he probably gonna get cooked. And if he if he a good receiver and he got type some type of abilities on him. He probably gonna get cooked if your safety don't got no uh no good man abilities or any any type of abilities on him or something like that. So but now I'm gonna show you with the deep half on him. And he, in my opinion, this plays it a lot better for some reason. It plays it a lot better. And as well, you gotta keep putting could be putting this safety right here on the inside third. This is necessary to stop the tight end route. But we're going to focus on Zach Pascal over here in the double move. I'm going to say HUD again. And you're going to see how I just boom. And it play, it plays it. It plays it. It goes down to play. He made the catch right there. So that's what I'm saying. It's an iffy route. That's the route that will get open. But it plays it pretty well. And man coverage, all that deep pad, right? It just depends. I'm going to show you all again. Put him on the deep pad right here. I'm going to kind of put him down, more down. And then we're going to put him on the inside third here. Now, your user is gonna be over it too. So, if you if you smart, if you see him throw it one time, you could actually you don't actually have to put him. You could just have him on man coverage, and you could actually have your user over it too, as well. So it's not the route is not gonna be as open as you think. Right now, I'm not using on defense. Right, I'm gonna show you as if I was using this linebacker on defense here. If I notice this play, I can come over here and help, right? I can help that help that route right there. And it, this this defense is really good, right? A lot of people don't throw that route anyway, and it's a difficult throw, especially in regs because they float the ball in regs. But let me go ahead and I'm going to cut through. We're going to cut through showing you if the running back gets, uh, if, the, if the guy put the running back on a route. So let's say we in this defense, same defense, and we in the same play call on offense, and he he noticed that you 
that you playing a lot of coverage and you're not covering the flats right here. And he puts Miles Sanders on some type of swing or out route here. Let's just put him on a let's put him on a swing right here. Which you can do right here to just kind of adjust to that. Just put just put your guy in a hard flat. Put your linebacker in the hard flat. You're gonna use this guy right here. You kind of want to just move him out a little bit more. So, cause especially because he's a linebacker, guys are pretty slow. And that's the reason I wouldn't run match coverage out of this. Because your linebackers against receivers is not going to turn out too well if you play match. So, I don't run match at all out of this. But this is pretty much it. And besides, so the same adjustments here, you want to man them up or whatever. Depends on what you like to do. And then inside third. This is really my setup. I re I. I really like the setup right here. It pretty much boxes this up, as you could tell. I got to cover this more. And then you see, like, the man coverage is an empty route. It's an empty route. Everything pretty much boxed up. The double move gets open sometimes, depending on depending on the receiver they got right there. It can get open. It cannot get open. But now I'm going to show you all against Bunch. I'm going to show you against Bunch. All right, now I'll be going over bench pivot, and we still in the cover four drop. And you're going to see this pretty, this plays it pretty nicely, man. I mean, you really don't have to make no adjustments to it. It, it plays really nice. All you got to do is really use your man. You got to be have a good user. You're going to say, I'm going to say HUD here. And you're going to see the routes that gets open is you just got to have to use the 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 dig and uh, the little uh, zig by R1. But everything's pretty much boxed up. And I'm going to show y'all again, right? And so, so I'm going to say hut. The route that probably gets open is circle. But what you could do there is, I'm about to show you what you do. Let me just sack them real quick. That's another thing about this. If you ain't going to get real good pressure. So do this. You could put Judon on a hard flat and make him play it and move him out a little bit more. That'll stop that quick route right there. And then now you just got to cover. You Now you don't have to cover multiple people, especially with a linebacker. You're going to kind of gonna want to have a fast linebacker here to have some speed. But you can cover it, right? You can cover that. X route, come back, get the, get the dig. And that's pretty much the setup there, right there. Just having that right there. So, And that's another thing, right? If you don't want to put them in a, a hard flat, you could just go do your... Uh, your zone drops, right? You can make your curl flat, play five yards, move him out, and then he'll play it there. Play it as well, but, I mean, it's just simple. Just one adjustment, put him on a hard flat, and it automatically stops Devontae Smith over here. And then now you just got to have a good user. I'm showing you all again. It's not too many adjustments on this. This is a real nice play stock. You can run this play stock. It's really good against stock, just stock defense. Say hut. Boom. 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 It's pretty much it. You kind of got to just have a good user there. And then you got to just hope your D-line get home. Right? And I I forgot to show you what happens when you're in tight and you press. So I'm going to show you that real quick and then I'm going to end the video. I did forget that. I mentioned that. And I, why I wouldn't press in this uh, formation when, when you're running against tight. Especially against this play. PA cross. Reason why I wouldn't press, right? So I, I forgot to show you. I did mention this, and I want to show all this. So why you shouldn't press on uh, against tight, and this, especially against this play here. Now you could press in any other uh, other formation against a bunch. You can't press, but this I would not press in here. So I'm gonna make the adjustments that I normally do. Right. So put uh, Devin McCourty man coverage. Zach Pascal put uh butter safety in inside third here. And if you press, you're gonna see what's you're gonna see what's gonna happen right here. So let's say Hut. And I'm gonna play as Jalen Hurts and I'm not gonna uh I'm gonna play on the D line so my Bentley still users around or whatever, right? Say Hut, and you're gonna see like the X get open. If you pass lead it, you can make that throw. A good player can make that throw, right? I didn't throw it right, so I'm gonna show y'all again. Press. Man, Pascal, inside third, the other safety. If you press like that, right, 
Wow, I wouldn't press. A good player, a real good player can make this throw. High pass and you see you see how he, he caught it. He, you can make that throw. It's a tight throw, and that's why I wouldn't press. I wouldn't press it. A good quarterback can make that throw. A good player can make that throw. Tight throw if you uh free form and high pass it up, you get the good animation, it could it could be a nice dot. And that's so that's the reason why I wouldn't press against tight. It plays fine if you don't press, in my opinion. I think if you don't press, you're not you you're not gonna get beat over top. But if you press, you have a opportunity to they got an opportunity to beat you over top, especially with a faster tight end like this like that uh, Darren Waller or somebody. He might he might cook you, he toast you up right real quick. So that's pretty much the end of this tutorial, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning into this video, man. All that you can smash the like button, the subscribe button, and be very much appreciated. Till next time, peace out, peace out.